Hello my friend, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And today my gift to you is this video on how to connect the heart with your intestines. Right? You probably all heard by now about what's this heart health, you know, or where uh, the heart is considered to be like a brain, a huge nervous you know, system just like this brain and uh, different cognitive functions though. Well, um, the same also applies, you know, to your intestines. You know, the solar plexus and all this uh, nerve uh, fibers that are running through your intestines, um, you know, constitute a third brain and which also has its own intelligence. And, um, you know, many businessmen, you know, uh, in a sense materialist, um, rely on the intelligence of their gut feeling, you know, which is this brain of uh, the uh, intestines. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> for many people this may be news, you know, for some of you this is an old head. Now, uh, if you work with Qi, you know, I mean, if you think that yoga is just stretching your muscles, you know, you're really missing the point. I mean, it's good to do yoga, to stretch muscles, to build strength, to have physical integrity. But that's basically just the groundwork. You know, this is ABC school. Um, you know, why the stretching and relaxation? Because through a relaxed muscle, you can, you know, run more chi. You can run more prana. Also in Tai Chi, you know, those masters, they have super soft muscles, completely relaxed, so they can run lots of Qi through this. So, you know, so the, once you start, you know, you master Hatha Yoga, your body is relaxed, everything is aligned, you can run more Qi. When you run more Qi, you can, you know, manipulate your chakras better. Then you can manipulate your chakras better. Then you can go into deep, 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 deep meditation. You know, and <laughs> punch all the way through to source, you know, and kind of get enlightened, you know, so you become aware of your higher vibration, uh, you know, <laughs> intelligence, so to say. Well, I sidestep here a little bit. I'm giving you the pic picture here. Um, so... Uh, so, uh, well, I have to say, I have to admit, uh, my heart chakra, you know, feels nice. Uh, my tummy, not so, right? So, if I can uh, make my heart, uh, you know, my tummy, if I can make my tummy feel as good and well as, as my heart, this is awesome. So, um, in, um, let's say, Qigong, um, you know, basically, um, you um, um, strengthen um, your uh, lower uh, Dan Tian, this is called, um, uh, this area, um, um, by uh, a, a rhythmic uh, movement of the lower abdomen you know, by contracting. And if you look at it uh, in an electric way at uh, this part of the body, um, we have uh, muscles that are very conductive and, you know, or intestines, you know, which are also muscles and then liquid inside, you know, which is electrically conductive. And then we have insulators like fascia, you know, this is this whitish bluish skin that keeps uh, things wrapped up. Um, and uh, also fat, they're all insulators. So for instance, you know, at your front uh, area, you know, where your six pack is supposed to be, uh, we have six layers, you know, where um, fat and muscle and fascia alternate. So you have uh, like a big battery there. Of course, your intestines are also, you know, uh, isolated by fat and fascia. So you have a huge uh, chemical uh, battery there that uh, of course also affects your nervous system you know which runs on chemical electricity just to give you the big picture <laughs> so 
um, the uh, Taoist and um, you know Qigongist, um, you know they have a slow breathing there. In uh, Kundalini Yoga, um, you know you not only use your diaphragm, you also you know contract ideally the whole lower bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, second chakra, you know, even kegels, that's like on steroids. And so you basically, by massaging this, uh, you, um, you know, create a lot of static of energy, you know, through those batteries. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, so uh, you can create a lot of energy like this that you can store in these batteries there. But it doesn't mean you know, that this energy is feeling nice. You know, a lot of power struggle, you know, sexual addiction, etc. Yes, you know, our animal self, you know, is uh, nourished and uh, controlled by those lower um, centers of energy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to make the tummy area, you know, really nice and in harmony with the heart, and I consider the heart area the center, of our being, you know, if you are a shaman, I've seen many shamans, Native Americans and people of power, they were having their center in the solar plexus and projecting, you know, over wide areas, controlling wide, wide areas um, with the solar plexus energy, not just forward, no, 360 all around. Mm -hmm. There was like, you know, presence there. So, uh, Personally, you know, for myself, and, and this is, uh, you know, just me, not parampara, I learn from any guru. Uh, I like, you know, to just make this tummy area feel nice. And I like these two brains, you know, the brain of the heart and the brain of the tummy to become best friends. And that's why I have them run love with each other. You know, I think love is definitely you know, the best solution I've found so far, uh, much better solution than karate <laughs> though many movies may you may want to, you to think different so uh um, so let us just uh, run you know love between heaven and earth so it doesn't take long just follow along otherwise you're just wasting your time mm -hmm. so close your eyes and uh, we ask the source and our spirit guides uh, to guide us to protect us you know, and when we open up to protect us from those beings that are come in service to self to us, mm -hmm. we ask that we be surrounded by a column of light that only brings love and light in, that keeps the dark service to self energies out. Please do so now. Amen. And we ask that everything that happens in and from this meditation is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Just agree to that. And please don't drive or operate heavy machinery if you listen to the podcast. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, the first thing, always the first go-to love source is the Earth Mother. So just smile and you know, smile towards her, the smile down, and, uh, you know, on the inhale, just allow her love to rise in you. And on the exhale, you send your love from your body into her. Mm -hmm. Flow this love over your legs, and even imagine that you extend your spine into the earth, and mm -hmm. go back and forth. Pulling love, sending love, and with a strong breathing back and forth, we clear those stagnant pathways. And actually, we asked our spirit guides to help clear this as now for us. Amen. All right. And now on the inhale, we pull this love from the Earth Mother into our heart. And on the exhale, we just expand our heart, makes it nice and strong, you know, glowing like a sun. That's generally very nice. Smile, 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 pull it into your heart and just expand, make it nice and fluffy and cozy.
And we release any pain and darkness we're still carrying there, also sadness, uh -huh. especially stuff from other people that doesn't even belong to us. Please clear, 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 clear. Mm -hmm. So that should kick in now. All right, now your heart is nice. And now on the exhale, send that love from the heart into the intestines. You know, your colon, the intestine, this whole glob down there. Mm -hmm. You can even put your hands around there on both sides of the navel, just loosely rest it on your thighs. Mm -hmm. And just smile and just, you know, draw the love from your tummy into your heart. And even if it's not so good, that doesn't matter. And then send the love from the heart into the tummy. You know, go back and forth and just smile very, very sweetly. Deep breathing, you know, relax. Back and forth. Another variation you can do, just keep breathing back and forth. You put one hand onto your tummy and the other hand onto your heart. And just still breathe back and forth between tummy and heart. Just send love from one to the other. And they both get uplifted and become friends. And we ask that any magic or vows or, you know, philosophies that separate, you know, uh, your heart intelligence from your tummy intelligence, maybe even genetic manipulation or curses, black magic, whatever it is, implants, we like to have cleared now as much as possible. Amen, 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 amen. And it should kick in now. And so just, you know, sloshing this love back and forth between the heart and the tummy. You know, if you at night, you cannot fall asleep, your head is racing, just do this one hand to the heart, one hand to the tummy, like where the navel is, is a good spot. Nice and relaxed, and then just slosh that love back and forth. First of all, it will get you out of the head, you know, and put you more into your heart center, and into your tummy, into your physical body. It will create relaxation and you probably pass out. And if you don't, you still have a great time and actually probably get more energized than just snoozing. All right. So now we ask our spirit guides, you know, to close any openings that are there that would be openings for the dark to get in. We ask any more aspects of your soul to come back to you now. We ask for an upgrade and integration of your energies, all the subtle bodies. Amen, amen, amen. And if you want, you can keep on snoozing now. Or, you know, if you want to wake up, one, two, three. Wake up, you're completely grounded now. Hey, my friends, those that are waking up. Uh, I love you and I hope you had a great time. If this worked for you, other videos will work for you too. I recommend them all. I mean, these are all part of a toolbox that any spiritual boy scout or girl scout should know. Um, the more you know, the more you can do. You know, generally one size doesn't fit all. I mean, the only th thing that fits all is love. <laughs> the morphine of life, but otherwise, you know, there are special techniques for a lot of stuff. 
So, um, I give private sessions, very reasonable. Um, it's definitely, you know, worthwhile, especially if you're suffering and if you respond well to my videos, send me an email, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, um, so you get an updated when something new comes up. I love you. Namaste.